Sextortion, Grok AI abuse, and the president of Venezuela thinks Huawei phones are immune to American cyber espionage? It must be another cyber attack Hooray! Sunday. Hi, I'm Elixabot, and I'm on a mission to break down tech headlines for non-tech people. Please help me grow by liking, commenting, and sharing my content with your friends. Remember, if the rundown is overwhelming, check out the latest in cyber on Substack for all articles and sources. Here we go. Cyber criminals pushed fake TradingView premium app ads on meta platforms to trick users into downloading the Brokewell Android malware. North Korea-linked Scarcroft, also known as APT37, ran a phishing campaign dubbed Operation Hankook Phantom, delivering rock rat to South Korean academics tied to intelligence research. Amazon stopped a Russia-linked APT29 midnight blizzard operation that hijacked websites to trick Microsoft 365 users into approving attacker-controlled devices. A ransomware attack knocked out email, phones, and websites at Pennsylvania's Attorney General's office for weeks, though officials refused to pay the ransom. A flaw in the paid membership subscription plugin allows unauthenticated SQL injection, putting WordPress sites at high risk of data theft. The Silverfox APT abused a vulnerable Microsoft-signed watchdog driver in a BYOVD attack, disabling antivirus tools and installing Valley Rat backdoors. The Salesforce saga has evolved, as hackers exploited stolen OAuth tokens from the Salesloft Drift integration to compromise Salesforce instances at multiple companies, including Zscaler, Cloudflare, and Palo Alto Networks. Attackers accessed customer data, support cases, and contact information, prompting Salesloft to take Drift offline as the investigation continues. Other security firms such as Proofpoint, SpyCloud, Tanium, and Tenable have also confirmed impact. Android dropper apps, long used to deliver banking trojans, are now spreading SMS stealers and spyware by posing as government and banking apps in Asia. A fake NPM package called NodeJS SMTP impersonated the Node Mailer library to inject code into desktop apps and drain funds from Atomic and Exodus crypto wallets. Security researchers linked Ukrainian network FDN3 to large-scale brute force and password spraying attacks on SSL VPN and RDP devices across June and July. WhatsApp patched CVE 2025-55177, a zero-click vulnerability exploited alongside an Apple Zero Day to deliver spyware to iPhones and Macs. Jaguar Land Rover shut down systems after a cyber attack severely disrupted operations, forcing some UK plant workers to stay home. Scattered Spider has claimed responsibility for the attack, although no official confirmation has been made. A new backdoor named Mistrodex uses covert DNS and ICMP triggers to steal sensitive data while evading detection. Researchers found Azure AD client ID and client secret keys mistakenly exposed in a publicly accessible app settings JSON file. Cloudflare mitigated a record-breaking DDoS attack that peaked at 11.5 terabits per second, originating mainly from Google Cloud. North Korea's Lazarus Group deployed new malware strains, PondRat, ThemeForestRat, and RemotePE, in social engineering attacks on the DeFi sector. Sangoma released an emergency patch for CVE 2025-57819, a critical bug scored 1010 CVSS that attackers were already exploiting to hack free PBX servers. Artists and Clients, an art commission platform, went offline after a group called Lunalock threatened to add its artists' data into AI training sets unless a ransom was paid. Attackers breached Synchia, a subsidiary of Evertech, and tried to steal $130 million via Brazil's PIX real-time payment system, though the theft was stopped. The U.S. Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, CISA, flagged multiple TP-Link router and Wi-Fi extender flaws, including CVE-2020-24363, CVE-2023-50224, and CVE-2025-9377, all under active exploitation. Jaguar Land Rover confirmed a cyber attack forced it to shut down systems, halting production and retail services across multiple facilities. Researchers found new tycoon phishing kit techniques designed to disguise malicious links and bypass automated email defenses. An Iran-linked group known as Homeland Justice ran a multi-wave spear phishing campaign that breached over 100 diplomatic email accounts worldwide. Threat actors are abusing Hexstrike AI, an AI red team tool, to automate reconnaissance and rapidly exploit newly disclosed vulnerabilities. Investigators dismantled a piracy network, distributing illegal streams from Apple TV, Netflix, Disney+, HBO, and more via 1-100 domains. Russia-linked APT28 hackers are using a sophisticated VBA macro backdoor dubbed NotDoor to monitor Microsoft Outlook emails in attacks on NATO companies. Researchers discovered NPM packages abusing Ethereum smart contracts to conceal malicious activity, while others impersonated Flashbots utilities to steal crypto wallet keys. President Nicolas Maduro said Huawei phones are immune to U.S. espionage, though experts argue their custom systems may be easier to hack. SaaS giant Workiva disclosed attackers accessed customer data by exploiting compromised Salesforce systems in the ongoing sales loft drift campaign. Authorities in Egypt and the ACE coalition dismantled StreamEast, a massive illegal sports streaming service, and arrested two alleged operators. 
The U.S. DOJ sued Avatar Technology, alleging the company let a Chinese third party collect children's geolocation data without parental consent. The State Department offered $10 million for info on three Russian FSB officers accused of cyber attacks against U.S. critical infrastructure and 500 energy companies worldwide. A new sextortion malware monitors users' browsers for porn, then takes simultaneous screenshots and webcam photos to blackmail victims. Threat actors are abusing Grok, X's built-in AI assistant, to bypass ad restrictions and push malware links to millions of users. Google researchers spotted attackers abusing a Sitecore zero-day flaw to execute deserialization attacks and deliver malware. Telecom firm Whitex website was defaced twice in a week and remains offline, with the company warning of major financial fallout. Researchers revealed a flaw called Model Namespace Reuse that lets attackers deploy malicious AI models to achieve code execution in major platforms. Hackers compromised Nexar, a company selling dashcam images as virtual CCTV, exposing photos of sensitive U.S. military and intelligence sites. Tire giant Bridgestone disclosed a cyber attack impacting operations at multiple manufacturing facilities in North America. Pyongyang-backed hackers monitored threat intelligence platforms to run fake job interview scams, tricking hundreds with malware-laced lures. A China-linked group called Ghost Redirector breached 65 Windows servers in Brazil, Thailand, and Vietnam using custom backdoors and IIS modules. Chess.com reported a breach after attackers exploited a vulnerable file transfer app, exposing user data from the popular gaming platform. Texas filed suit against education software provider PowerSchool after a December breach exposed data of 62 million students, including 880,000 Texans. Threat actors exploited a zero-day in legacy Sitecore systems to install Weepsteel reconnaissance malware, enabling long-term persistence. Researchers found 44 SVG files carrying embedded JavaScript that launched Base64 encoded phishing pages, impersonating Columbia's judiciary. A 9.9 .9 CVSS vulnerability, CVE 2025, 42957 in SAP S4 HANA ERP software is being exploited in the wild, allowing attackers to take over unpatched servers. Attackers are tricking macOS users into installing cracked apps that deploy AMOS malware using terminal-based installation methods. Officials confirmed files containing personal data were stolen in a breach, impacting more than 31,000 individuals tied to a South Carolina school district. The threat group TAG150 released Castle Rat a remote access trojan in Python and C to extend its castle loader malware as a service operations. A maximum severity vulnerability in Argo CD lets attackers with minimal permissions retrieve API tokens and steal repository credentials. Canadian fintech Wealthsimple revealed attackers stole personal data from customers in a recent breach, though the number impacted was not disclosed. Wow, what a week. Parents, please go lock down your children's credit. Yes, I'll make a video about it tomorrow. Anything else you guys want me to dive into this week? Please support my work by liking, leaving a comment, or sharing my content with your friends. My goal is to hit 10K. Thank you. For the full rundown, check out the latest in cyber on YouTube, Rumble, or Substack.